You're listening to Ride Rehab on WDWNT.com. And now, here are your hosts, Tyler Mann and Thomas Kiernan. Welcome to a very spur-of-the-moment Ride Rehab yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just talking about how ridiculous it would be to add Phantom to other attractions. And yes. I'm like, uh, then, then we started talking about a, sti- stitch, a Stitch's, Stitch's Great, great escape. escape. So we were like, because the, cause the whole... I, I feel, I feel like, I feel like we're missing something cool. We're missing an intro bit, or, or like it a, doesn't matter anymore. You're, you're not wrong. I wouldn't even say that this is a real writer have episode. Like, it's not part of like. It's gonna it's gonna be a five minute video on YouTube. You're gonna you're gonna draw a few like hokey visuals. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera, but in Stitch's Great Stitch's Escape. Great Escape, so but it's already, Phantom of the Opera. We already talked about this for like eight seconds, I, and I, we I, made a few I, jokes, and I'm like, we need to record this. <laughs> I want to I, I want to I wanna talk about my joke, which was the Phantom. <laughs> the Fantivmal Whirl. Um, uh, rest in peace, uh, Fan- Primeval Whirl. What is, it was like you, you were well past your time. What is whirl um, in French? In French? Like Le Phantom de la Whirl? Or... <laughs> Probably. There's oh. a lot of words that are just like the oh. English word, but maybe with an E on the end. Oh. And, uh, is it just the same dinosaur it, theme? No, no, no. It, it, yes, it's the same dinosaur theme. But there's a phantom who who unscrews the the bolts <laughs> right before and, and, yeah yeah and <laughs> he, he dries up. out the track. It's like, ah. so it's like right when so I he just picture the, it's the bolts same thing. in the the thing. It's the same uh, primeval world. So yeah, yeah. you leave the station, and then that mini straightaway before you enter the lift hill. Or there's even just a better. cast member unscrewing all the cars. <laughs> I, or even better, uh, uh, the cast member just tells you that there's a phantom who 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 messes with the ride like a gremlin, and then that that that's the reason why it's so janky and, and why it that's, that's not causes all the, you suffering because it's like a fifteen yeah, cause it's year made old out of, attraction. I was about to say, and not and and because it's also uh, made out of like a children's jungle gym or something. <laughs> It's it's one of those rides that you're supposed to pack up and put away after after uh, a few weeks or a week. We recorded the Splash Mountain episode where we made a joke about it being a phantom ride, and then like a month after we released it, Splash Mountain was announced okay. that it was going to close and renovate. And I think we made the joke that it was going to like Princess and the Frog or something. I, th- I think I think that's an obvious de- decision. But it w- like it, this was before they even announced it. I just I was like, oh my god, that's another instance where we just guessed the most obvious thing and it happened. But anyways, Phantom. But do you know do you know who's kind of who's kind of phantomy is uh, uh, Doctor Facilier. Or do you know who do you know who Doctor Facilier is? I guess I guess the better segue <laughs> you would be to, you did a segue in reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... You're like, let's not talk about Prince and the Frog, but you know who's like the Phantom Facilier. So Facilier, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about but, um, Phantom. Anyways. Okay, so Phantom Stitch's Great Escape being replaced with Phantom of the Opera. We were we were like, how do you even like portray the pre-show on a video screen? Because I just it said didn't it. exist in like nine, like eighteen, whatever. So, so the, my first idea it's was like that, a slideshow. Yeah, my my first idea was that the pre-show is the uh, the prologue from from the stage musical with old Rowell and such. Oh, so uh, you just start off with maybe you heard about the thing with you're the at the, of the opera. You're at yeah. the auction house. Yeah, at the he's beginning. like, you may have heard the tale of the Phantom of the yeah. Opera. Ladies and gentlemen, you may have heard the tale of the Phantom of the and Opera. Then... Please stick to the right. <laughs> Trips of three. <laughs> and then time travel. Yeah, you go through a door or something, and they're like, you're traveling back through. You tra- and then you just you go travel right through to the, the end. halls of the opera house, and and uh, 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 the memories of old come back or something like that. Because there's that second pre-show room. And then yeah, the fir- so there's the first room. Which has like video screens on the wall, okay, and that's like, oh, you're gonna about to like see, you're about to go understand prisoner transportation. Then you go into the you, first you... pre-show room with the, or the second pre-show room that has like the actors and the two examples. Yeah, in yeah, it. yeah. So that's the auction then. That's the auction, and then uh, uh, the line uh, for the to the or, or any 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 part left that's like breaking people into groups is uh, like oh yeah, uh, like the hallway that leads into the two. Prisoner transportation. I guess, yeah. At some point, you transition from uh, the old opera house to the new one. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe maybe is in a the, line or something. Is the theater the is the theater in the round the opera house? <laughs> That's a very small opera house. 
<laughs> and then I made the joke that the pre-show is just the first hour and a half of the music. Oh yeah, yeah. Leading up to the part where they're like, "We're gonna right. catch the." They phantom. sit you down. They sit you down in an adjacent theater that is larger than the ride vehicle, than the ride room <laughs> itself, and they make you watch the first hour and a half of Phantom of the Opera until you get to the last scene, and then they're like, "All right, everyone, get up." <laughs> it's like how the Ellen pre-show is like. 20 minutes long yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like when is this ride gonna start that was and you're like sitting on the floor that was that was disney being like oh well we need a we need to get every cent out of ellen and uh, <laughs> uh they they kept all of her terrible improv and such they're like they're like the first movie theater lasts 20 minutes <laughs> are we gonna make a pre-show that's long enough they're like, we'll just make a 20 minute pre show. <laughs> anyway, so you get into the room, and then I guess Fearman, Fearman and Andre are like, all right, everyone, stay seated. We're about to catch the Phantom of the Opera. And then it's like, are no, you no, sure no. about this, Andre? Well, do you have a better light, idea, sir? Light, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Lights drop a little bit, and then they, they come out and they talk about the plan out loud in the very room they're supposed to be uh, trying to catch the Phantom in. And then that's our first example of the binaural audio. When they're when we hear, "I'm here, the Phantom of the Opera." Oh, I'm here. We, we the I'm thing. here. And then and then I guess Christine comes on stage and they start doing. And we do the movie thing. You have come. We do here. the movie thing where we move the chandelier crash to the second half. Yes, you got to because the right half stuff. Yeah, the yeah, chandelier, the chandelier crash. crash has to happen. In this. So that so I guess I guess she starts doing. Uh, past the point of no return and then the phantom comes out or you have to make it clear that like Pianji is like backstage in his costume maybe this actually doesn't work because we have to establish all these characters <laughs> that's why i'm saying the pre-show is the, the entire musical <laughs> and, then, and then this is like the final experience what, what so, if they just did the whole what if they just did the whole show but adapted it to be in the uh oh the like, theater in the round. like 20 minute Oh, a twenty-minute one would like be cool. A but I was thinking about like, like the, I was thinking about the whole the whole show in in a a theater in the round style. Um, oh, I was just saying like you thing. sum up the entire that. first hour and a half of the musical into twenty minutes because you oh, can. Oh, you, you can, but but <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm saying they can just they can just they can just start putting on runs of Phantom at at, at a <laughs> Let's Disney World. Just, can I just try it right now? So you walk into the theater. <laughs> Okay. You walk into the pre-show room, and it's like, "Hello, I'm Gilles, and I'm on oh. a train. Here's all you should know: we're the we're, we run this opera my house, and there's is, a. <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Monsieur Gilles Andre, and, and this I'm is Monsieur, my partner, I'm Monsieur Furman. Richard Furman, and this is my associate, Mr. Richard Furman. Yes, I'm Together very... we have bought the opera house, and we're so excited to blah 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 blah. Although blah, blah. we've heard, please keep a... your hands and legs <laughs> inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to sum it up, and you're just like. Sorry. You're just doing the cash, like, the usual, like, fill all the available space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, we have yes, an opera house, course. there's a phantom, he wants to get off this girl Christine. He wants to get off. He wants to go after this girl Christine. I mean, he's, he's pretending to be her dad, and she's fallen in love with him. He's not... She has a boyfriend. This is the lead singer of the opera house, and this is her boyfriend? And um, Carlotta and... Uh, Pianji, we don't know if they're dating or not. It's implied. And they're like, anyways, we're now going to capture him. We've cast Carlotta as the crappy character, and Christine is now playing the lead. Riveting. He might be magical. He might be hypnotic. We don't know. Anyways, get out of there. Please stay The, the opera ghost has been haunting this place for a long time, and recently he has become involved with a young, or he has become obsessed with a with a, a young ingenue, it's, Christine Daae. It's taking too long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> it's it's, it's got to be like Somebody, somebody has to be up there so, with like puppets. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what the great thing about musicals is? You can cut out all the talking, or almost all the talking, and just do the music. Oh, like so what the, you do? What you do is you only pick the one-hit wonders from from the first act. It's like the Gallivant recap before yeah, yeah. the season, the series finale. Yeah, yeah. you have, you have, uh, uh, you have, uh, you have uh, uh, the two managers. They come out. They talk. Think of me. After that. Uh, 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 <laughs> what comes after? Think of me. After that, I guess it would be uh, maybe uh, the mirror. Little, uh, yeah, the, the mirror. The mirror is short line. enough that they could get with a little. No, no, no. We we, we cut we cut little Lottie. Uh, uh, we <laughs> do, we just have Raoul come in and be like, "Oh, Christine, remember when I fetched your thing, uh, your your scarf from the sea?" And uh, she's like, "Oh yes, Raoul. Uh, that, I do remember that. We're we're gonna be in love again." And then that's and the then, little Lottie then, song. Yeah, yeah. But you say we cut that. We cut we cut that. We turn it into dialogue. We turn it into a quick little conversation. Oh, so it's Boom. the movie. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
And then we have I, and then, I and Hear then, Angel of Music. We, yeah, we, we, we don't do the whole song. But, uh, Insolent uh, boy! Who is there? It's me coming to the mirror. Yeah, 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 yeah basically. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, <laughs> ob- so obviously, you have you have uh, uh, the boat scene uh, where you. That's wh- the transition. Yeah, yeah. And then the the entire like the entire theater would have to have like a a, a thin layer of, of mist. Hang on, um, we, we we already made the joke before about like the transition into the next scene is the mirror opens, Christine walks through, but then we as the audience also walk through, like yeah, yeah. like uh, Enchanted Tales with Belle. Yes, <laughs> Enchanted, Enchanted Tales, but with Belle, but it's Phantom. So, so what happens in the theater? Do we? It, does Christine and the Phantom do the performance in the middle, mm-hmm. and then he sings like, "Say you'll share with me," and then I guess he lights it on fire. And what if, what if it's like they oh, actually light the guests on fire? They do the chandelier drop, and then, wait, what? <laughs> they light the guests. They do the chandelier drop. What if we use like r- seat rumbles? Uh, or what if the seats rise Ooh. and then fall five feet in the dark? Ah! So it so it feels like we've dropped below the theater, and then now we're in the basement. You could use projection dro- mapping a, a drop to change ride, the a drop right end. Uh, I think. Oh, there what, was. What if, you, what if you do like a haunted mansion style illusion where where uh, it's like look out, look above you, and you look up, and then like the ceiling flashes, and you just see the chandelier dropping towards you. Uh, Everyone, uh, there, there is sixty individual mini chandeliers above each. No, no, guest. it's one giant chandelier. But it, what it really is is either a projection or, or like a, uh, uh, like you know, in the haunted mansion, it, the screen where, where that's how they hide it. That's how they make the ceiling uh, in a, a haunted mansion. You're uh, saying they the, use like holographic, like because you could make a hologram by having just a round piece of glass with a projection on every side of the glass like a pepper's ghost uh, no, effect, uh, but you, it's in the you would have like a prop chandelier that that uh, or, or or a fake prop chandelier that descends like like in the show but no yeah. but it, it it fills the entire uh, ceiling space and so that way it looks giant but it's really just like I don't know it's it's a trick of the wait what i was thinking of was it's just there, like a flat thing that they painted or something like that there was this terrible attraction at uh, alton towers i never been on it but i heard it's terrible mm-hmm. it was like a drop ride but you start at the top and the idea was they were experimenting on this egg that they found underground you sit in the it's a oh, drop tower but it's all facing I, I remember i vaguely recall the video yeah i forget what it's called it was called like evolution exo or exo terror or something, something like, like that. that yeah anyways that's what I was thinking. You like now we're in the basement, and then the Phantom's trying to you know marry Christine. Then Ralph yeah, comes yeah. in. And we just watched that entire sequence. Okay. Except when he when he goes to hang Raoul, like ropes drop on the audience. <laughs> like, like you can really feel the Punjab lasso <laughs> on your face. Yeah, your your thing tight. Your uh, your shoulder straps just tighten a little bit. Oh, do you know? Oh, no. Do you know what you could do? The the haunt, you could literally just reuse the haunted mansion effect with is the. Uh, the 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 Joseph Bouquet. Uh, the, it's oh, always, sure. There's always <laughs> my way. So Except, now we're doing Rock Hunter Mansion. We, yeah, yeah. I want to mention, but it's Phantom. Oh my god. Phantom Manor. It exists already. We, yeah. <laughs> I guess that, yeah, you're right. That, it very much is. Even as a skull opera. face. Yeah. It, it, well, I mean, of it course is, it would be. It's, it's in France. It it's called Phantom Manor. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. entirely inspired it, by it. By, by well, not, not, also this guy yeah. killing this girl's bra, uh, husband yeah, so yeah. that he can marry her. Instead. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's all it's, very it's Phantom. So Phantom. It's it's the same. It's the same plot. Just you know, they've they've it's they've paid homage to it basically. You know the bit where the Phantom's like, "Monsieur, I bid you welcome," yes. and it's like, "Where is he?" We, we we reuse the bit from Stitch where he's jumping on the shoulder restraints in the oh, dark like and all of them are pressing down. So it you feels can, like you he's can on really you. feel the fan. I like he's the, like walking. I, in a I like it. Okay, so I, I on top of people. I don't know if I ever talked about this, but my horror movie version of the Phantom of the Opera, uh, I all, all of the Phantom of the Operas suck hard. <laughs> well, that's not true. Um, I actually uh, the like the Robert Englund. The Robert Englund one is a lot of fun, even though it's weird. Um, but uh, the uh, the what, what was the other one? It's very '90s romance novel. That's what it is. Um, uh, like the the you know how the the reincarnation type thing. That's that's the. Sorry, I was just thinking. 
Go on. The Robert Englund Phantom at Walt Disney World? <laughs> no, um, I was just wondering how the ride would end. And I'm like, I know exactly how it would end. Um, the Phantom says, go now and leave me! And then the seats just open and we walk out while he... While he's weeping on while the floor? He's weeping. Oh no, he disappears. No, we don't see that. Oh, he, he... <laughs> we leave when Christine does. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. All right, everyone. There's five different you Christine... Just hear the... <laughs> There's five different Christines at each exit and each one is waving the guests. <laughs> everyone, so... everyone is dressed as Christine. Maybe Christine and Raoul. So that way, that way, if there's four exits, you have... Uh, a Raoul on one side with a Christine on the other side and they're just outside of the the range of vision for certain people we maybe I mean you could just do it where like Christine leaves and then and then uh yeah the, the phantom makes himself disappear and then Meg Jerry's like where'd he go and then we all leave <laughs> but I like the idea of better <laughs> where we, what if, like, what if, we leave as he's crying and the like the the yeah, monkey like, masquerade uh, they... is playing <laughs> you just <laughs> it's pure silence yeah, yeah. and you're expected to leave while you just hear And he's like, <laughs> hey, he just sits there weeping, <laughs> and, and you're like, this is really uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like this, what, ma- this what raw emotional moment. It's like when you leave dinosaur and you see a video of the dinosaur just like running through the halls. You're like, all these people are dead, right? Because <laughs> there's a dinosaur just like crushing people. <laughs> I mean, it's not a dangerous dinosaur. It helps. Well, no, it knowingly no. helps us escape. Well, it's, it knows it's the mascot for the movie Dinosaur. Like, yeah. It, What's that dinosaur's name again? Uh, Alla- oh, sure. I think it was Aladar or something like that. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to Ride Me. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. What were you going to say about like the other versions of Phantom? Uh, uh, Lon Chaney one's pretty good. The Lon Chaney one was the only movie that H.P. Lovecraft ever liked. That's like the original one. Yeah, the 1921. It was that. That's widely considered to be the most, the closest to the book and best uh, uh, tome um, for Phantom. Uh, uh, Then there's the Claude Rains one, which is actually a lot of fun. Uh, Or rather, it's 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 more of like a. It's almost. It almost feels like Hello Dolly, like the tone. (laughs) What? Um, But that 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 was the first movie. I, well, it might not have been the first movie, but that was the the one that popularized the idea of the Phantom getting scarred as opposed to uh, uh, him being born deformed. Acid splashed in his face. That's right. And then he was able to, he was blind, but he can still see through, through his own vision. <laughs> Daredevil. Daredevil. Phantom is just Daredevil. The, fan, the Phantom of the Daredevil Opera is just Daredevil. Phantom. <laughs> no, I, don't think, I, I don't think he was blind. But uh, that would be a good way to do it. But I, I wanted to, I, I've always wanted to, I've always thought about a horror movie version of, of Phantom of the Opera or like a, a horror mini series where the, you barely see oh, the Phantom. Oh, how have they not done that yet? How has nobody, uh, how has Shudder not made a Phantom series yet? That, that's, a, I, I, I can, I can see the book as this like grounded series. And what I would do is, but I, I, after a certain point, you would start exploring Phantom's character, but he would still be, he would still be scary It'd be like it'd be like Hannibal, kind of like you gotta, you not, gotta not 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 in tone and feel, but like the, the the structure of Hannibal. After you reveal the Phantom at the end of episode two, because the first because yeah, no, no, the no, no, first no. episode is forty minutes, and what, the what? second episode's forty minutes. <laughs> so you you have the first, and that's when you reveal the Phantom at the end of this hour and a half double episode. Well, well we we catch glimpses of the Phantom, and and we 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 do that thing they do in the the uh, the the book where where. Uh, uh, he he sort of plays with the idea of it being a mystery at first. Oh, of course, the mystery is oh, is something that I, people already know, but we don't we don't hide from that. The uh, Phantom mystery. Oh, we, we, yeah, yeah, we, we, <laughs> the Phantom. It's all the different phantoms. That's what I was going to say. Or, fa- and then the, the Lon Chaney one. Or the the di- like blood on the <laughs> set. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say it's just songs from Phantom, and they just they just dress the bears up like characters. <laughs> Well, welcome to our Phantom of the Opera Jamboree, folks. Huh? It's like the heads of Joseph Bouquet and all the are, are the, are the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joseph, Joseph Bouquet, uh, Pianji, Pianji, you're right. What uh, do you like to hear songs about something? And they're do all. Do you like to hear about? Take Hollywood it away, about... folks. Think of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the same. But it's or the, the country I, versions. No, no. Doom, doom, think of me. Think, think of, of me fondly when we said goodbye. Yeah! All, all the animatronics are the same, though. 
<laughs> they didn't. They just, they're just in different costumes. <laughs> Oh no, I was gonna say they each have a phantom have a mask on their face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Mask. What other ride could benefit from being Phantom of the Opera? Everest? It's just a big phantom just trying to swipe at you. He's got his, he's got his cape open. Oh, uh, the the one the one music video one. Uh, you rethemed the sorry, you rethemed the mountain to the opera house. And the roller coaster is going through it. That makes less sense. You know what? People are like it doesn't make sense. It, you make it. You make it the Dario Argento Phantom, where where the rat catcher is. Uh, uh, he's, he's he goes on wacky adventures with his sidekick on a minecart to to hunt the phantom. The and then, Paris sewer mine yeah, transportation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to think of an excuse. No, I no, wonder... that's a, you just say it's the Dario Argento version. See, in in actual Expedition Everest, they're like. This is a T train that's supposed to be transporting you and the cargo up the mountain. And then you you have a brief encounter and with And then the... not only is the track broken, but it's the the train is like stuck on the hill and then it falls backwards. It's not meant to. That's why all that stuff happens. Uh, <laughs> but it's like why would you make a track that goes backwards into the mountain like that? What I, what I was going to say uh, with uh, uh, the Phantom series that, that I was thinking of, was that uh, for the first for the first like two episodes, you don't hide that there is a Phantom. You make sure the first thing he says in the in the the book is uh, the Opera Ghost really existed. He was not as long believed. Yeah. Something something blah blah blah. Um, uh, uh, so what you do is you have him appearing every now and again, and you make sure you you make sure that people see him. But can you can you imagine like maybe some maybe some, maybe joseph bouquet or someone uh they're they're standing on on a stage and then they look up and all you see is like the barest outline of a man because he, you know how he wears the black mask that looks like a oh no he doesn't say in the book he doesn't he rarely wears the mask i don't know i don't remember. you just see you just see the faintest shadow of of a of a uh uh, what do you call it? No, you got to do like of a, the, of a skeleton. The haunting type shows where like the eye holes are just pure white because that's what's scary now. Uh, oh, yeah, oh these, yes, with the with, all these ghosts just have with the, like with the, white pure yeah, yeah. white eyes. No, well, I would say like that, but like season one, where season season one, uh, the the haunting of Hill House, they have ghosts and they just scatter them in the frame every now and again, and they, yeah. but but they make it the tiniest, subtlest detail, and they don't draw any attention to it. That's what I would try to do with the Phantom, except for, you know, a few brief moments when someone actually sees him for a second and is like, oh shit, a ghost. And then, and then, uh, he, he, uh, he, he vanishes. He's, he's kind of like, I, I would make, and I, I would make him like, almost like a creature. Like he could, as, as soon as, as soon as he steps into the darkness, he vanishes and he can, and he moves like, like lightning. You know what that's like? When we saw the Toronto version of Phantom... The part where you hear brava, mm -hmm. bravissima, I didn't realize he was He's on dressed stage, as a stagehand. Yeah, dressed yeah. as a stagehand at that point. A stagehand was with, right with in front huge, of us with a huge haircut that that yeah. covers uh, uh, half his face. But yes, that was a. That I didn't was a realize. Good... I was looking at Christine the whole time because I didn't think that that was going to happen. That's, that's and you idea. pointed at him just as he left the stage. So I only caught this glimpse, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. "Whoa, what was the Phantom just on stage?" And I think that I think I genuinely thought we were only going to talk like 15 minutes about this. Uh, that's true. Um... <laughs> But I, I have a lot to say about Phantom, because uh, it was very formative to me, as you can imagine. I, 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 a thin, a, th a, a, a thin, crazy man who lives in a basement <laughs> and wears a mask. Who does that sound like? Oh. There he is! <laughs> no one can see. I know. You were doing that upside down hand. Hand eye, hand -eye, -eye mask. Thing. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Who, who decided you could do that thing, by the way? Who decided you could do this? Probably the Greeks or something. <laughs> The what? But but that's how they would do rehearsal because you know how they had uh, uh, the the masks with the amplifier mouth. Well, in rehearsal they would just go like that to so they could limit their vision and make it be make it look like. You know what attraction you could that's... shove Phantom into? What? Uh, Peter Pan's flight because it's already a boat. Oh, that's true. You could the ride the ride could start with a like a forced perspective Pan... Phantom. What you do? <laughs> no, no. Even even better, Peter Pan versus the Phantom of the Opera. You you find an excuse to have these two literary legends clash <laughs> in this in this Disney attraction. I'm How gonna... about ye? 
How about you, Phantom? <laughs> Damn me! I guess he does know how to sword fight. We, we know from, we know from the Joel from Schumacher version. Yeah. It's not implied in any other version he knows how to sword why, fight. Why not? Because he's supposed to use magic and trickery and illusions. Yeah. Oh no, his shirt fell open and now he's fighting Raul with a sword. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen the film version. I think I've only ever seen like clips of it or people when they review Where, it. When they review it, yes. Yeah. Um, I will say, as as a young man from the suburbs who would never see a, a production of Phantom until his late 20s, that, that movie is a perfectly fine introduction to Phantom. Sorry, we have an incense stick lit. And I, all the smoke is, is now trailing towards you. Is yes. now is now making a beeline right for my face specifically. Do you think do you think you could put Phantom into Journey into Imagination? Like take out Figment, keep it the Imagination Pavilion, but it's now the Phantom, the Phantom showing the, you illusions. The Phantom and magic. the Imagination. Uh, and at the end, he wants to uh, make love and marry you. <laughs> he wants to make love to you and marry you. And then Eric Idle sees you. <laughs> Eric Idle. Or he is, or he is the Phantom. The Phantom's name is Eric. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Eric though. Idle as Eric, the Phantom of the Opera. Hello. <laughs> da- I'm the Phantom of the Opera. That would be that That's would be like, an early Eric Idle performance, I think, where, yeah. where he where he'd be energetic. How is there no like Monty Python sketch making fun of Phantom? <laughs> because it was a French book. It wasn't, and, and when Monty Python oh, around, it, yeah, it didn't. It, it was. It hadn't blown up as the musical yet. It was. It hadn't been made into a British property by by Andrew Lloyd Webber. I guess you could make the Mexico boat ride Phantom. Absolutely, they'd love that. Actually, that's like the perfect place to do that because like it has a lot of set space and the boat goes slow enough. But now it's like, what's a ridiculous? One? Actually, I mean, it should be in the mm. France Pavilion, right? Do you know what the best Phantom? Get rid of Ratatouille. <laughs> do you know what the best? <laughs> the... Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, you go... yeah, you go first. The best Phantom attraction is putting it up, putting the soundtrack on for the car ride over to Disney World. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the Cars ride at Disneyland. Oh no! <laughs> While you're driving, you put it on. My mom loved Phantom of the Opera. She was okay with me playing it in the car. I was so happy. My mom liked American Idiot she, to the point that she could sing. Uh, the Green Day rock band with me, Aww. like I would do the guitar, and she know she knew all the songs because I'd played it so much. Except she hated that one part in um, uh, Last Night on Earth, where mm-hmm. it, where it's a chorus of Oh, yeah. my mom, my mom was like, "Can you skip that?" Because it was just so annoying. It was just a chorus of people all going Oh. <laughs> my idea was though. Replace the Ratatouille attraction with Phantom, okay. because you can get the zaniness. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know all those zany scenes yeah, in Phantom, Phantom of the, the Opera? Opera. Yeah, yeah. Wow, like I said, Dario, the Dario Argento version, the zany chase scene with the rat catcher. <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> It's Phantom, but you're the size of a rat, and the rat catcher is trying oh. to catch you. Why well, no, I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh my god! See, this is why this is why you record everything. <laughs> These accidental moments like this, where, where I said France Pavilion, and you said Rat Catcher, and I went, "Oh, Ratatouille," and you're like, "I didn't even think about that." Oh my god! But also, well, also That's I- it. We're done. <laughs> Well, one day, one day we'll have to sit and watch the Dario Argento Phantom. Sure, maybe we'll do it as a writer or, of watches. Or, or, or watch every fan or, of the opera. If order. you, if you're one of the few people out there who really loves Phantom com, com, content, there's this one man called the Phantom Reviewer. I've been listening. I, 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 I listened. I watched every video of his in high school. It was great, um, but uh, he, he's, he's gone and found a whole sh- bunch of. Uh, 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 old Phantom movies and, and, and Phantom adaptations or, or Phantom-like stories I think to review. I think you reviewed a Mickey Mouse cartoon that was called like Mickey and the Phantom or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he, he did a a, uh, a, a long uh, series on the Dario Argento Phantom where we, he ran through the plot and, uh, 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 you know, riffed on it. Um, however... Uh, that series, you know, got beat up because of YouTube copyright laws. 
And so entire parts of it, I think, are just missing from YouTube. I, I could be wrong, maybe it's changed now. You know what he um, hasn't but... done that I wish he would do? Is the episode of American Dad where they're doing, like, a telethon so that they can get, like, their torture uh, devices back. And, and Roger is the Phantom of the Opera and the Rafters like letting the ter like terrorists out in the studio well, and then he kidnaps Steve for some reason and then he dresses him in a wig and takes his clothes off and then he starts trying to seduce him first of all I'm like the show is so gay with Roger and Steve thank you for listening to this in American Dad the Pavilion <laughs> I'm writing that down Thank you for listening to this impromptu episode of Ride Rehab. We are still recording and filming a bunch of new Ride Rehab stuff uh, for the future. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being a fan of Ride Rehab. And I guess we'll see you on the new episodes, which will be coming eventually. We're here. The riders of the rehab. Maybe the rehabber, the rehab. No, it doesn't work. Rehab of the riders. The rehabbers of the ride. Because when we ride rehab, we 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 don't we don't ride the rehab. <laughs> we, 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 we rehab the ride. <laughs> we don't ride the rehab. How would? You... <laughs>